Hey, Wagwan, it's Mr. Garfield here. And we're gonna be looking at a past paper question, all right, for CSEC additional mathematics from the May-June 2018 past paper. Okay, and we're focusing on section one, that's algebra sequences and series. Now, the question says, if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation, 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 equals zero, we are to determine the value of one over alpha squared plus one over beta squared, okay? Now, let me just remind you, okay? So let me just put a recall here. So if alpha and beta are the roots of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, then we can say that what? Then we can say x squared, right? Let me erase that. Then we can say x squared plus b over a times x plus c over a is equal to zero right by just dividing through by a okay and it also means that x minus alpha times x minus beta equals zero will be my equation okay so if alpha and beta are the roots of that equation then we can say that x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta is equal to zero, all right? And if you should compare these two, right? If you should compare the equations, you will see that you will have x squared minus alpha plus beta times x plus alpha beta equals zero. Right, when you expand the brackets here, you will get that. Okay, you will get that. Yes, so when you expand the brackets, you get that on the left hand side. And if you should compare this equation with this equation, all right, you can see that for the coefficient of the x term here, all right. For the coefficient of the x term here, we can say that alpha plus beta is going to be equal to negative b over a. And we can also say that for this term here, alpha beta, right, if we compare with that equation, we can see that alpha beta is equal to c over a, right? So just something that you should remember, okay? So what were we given now? We were given two x squared minus five x plus three, okay? Let's write that down. That's two x squared minus five x plus three equals zero, right? That's the quadratic equation that they gave us. And they said that we are to determine the value of one over alpha squared plus one over beta squared. So let us calculate alpha plus beta from this and also alpha beta, all right? So alpha plus beta we know is negative b over a. That's, that will be negative, negative five over two, right? Which will give us five over two. And alpha beta is going to be equal to c over a, c is three and a is two. So that's three over two. Good. And they ask us to find the value of one over alpha squared plus one over beta squared. Let's calculate that now. So one over alpha squared plus one over beta squared. So this is going to be equal to my LCM is going to be alpha squared beta squared. Okay. So in my numerator, I will have beta squared, all right, let's write that down. 
I will have beta squared plus alpha squared. Okay? Now, another thing that you should note is that alpha squared plus beta squared is the same as alpha plus beta all squared minus two alpha beta. All right? That is an identity that you should be familiar with. Okay, you can go ahead and expand it out and check. You will see that you will get back beta squared plus alpha squared. And we have alpha squared beta squared in the denominator, which I can write as alpha beta all squared. Okay, so in case you didn't follow that, let me just refresh your memory. If you have a to the n times b to the n, then that can be written as a times b all to the power of n, all right, from our laws of indices, okay? So you should be familiar with that. Good. So let us now continue. So I already know what is alpha plus beta, right? We had calculated that to be 5 over 2. So we're going to have 5 over 2 squared, all right? So it's alpha plus beta squared minus 2 times alpha beta. We know alpha beta is 3 over 2. Okay, and we're now going to divide that by alpha beta r squared, which will give us 3 over 2 squared. Okay, let's continue now. So, just to remind you, so let me put a note here. If you are going to square a fraction, all right, let's say you're squaring a over b then that is going to be equal to the square of the numerator as a squared divided by the square of the denominator, that's b squared, okay? So this is gonna be equal to five squared, which is 25, divided by two squared, which is four, minus, I'm just going to cancel out here, the twos, right? Because you can see that the twos will cancel, so what I have left is a three here, okay? And I'm now going to divide that whole thing by three over two all squared, which I can say is three squared as nine divided by two squared is four, okay? That is what we have here. Good, so what will I do now? Yes, so what will I do now? I'm now going to subtract these two numbers here in the numerator, right? So 25 over 4 minus 3, okay? You should get an answer as 13 over 4, okay? 13 over 4, and we are dividing that by 9 over 4, right? So this is going to be equal to, I'm now dividing two fractions. So I need to reciprocate the denominator, all right? Multiply by the reciprocal of the denominator. So that's 13 over four multiplied by four over nine, right? And clearly the fours will cancel out, right? So what I have left now is 13 over nine, all right? 13 over nine. And on the left hand side, I have one over alpha squared plus one over beta squared, right? So one over alpha squared plus one over beta squared is equal to 13 divided by nine, okay? So 13 divided by nine is my answer here, all right? For this past paper question, I hope it was helpful. If it was, please ensure to like the video, all right? If you aren't already a subscriber, please ensure to subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends, all right? I'm Mr. Garth Reed, Student Ambassador for the University of Technology Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.